Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're talking about reaction prediction today for Honors Chem. Sometimes we call it reaction prediction number one. So when we look here, we have K2O plus H2O. Now I know it's not a decomposition because it's got more than one reactant. And I know it's not a single replacement reaction because there's nothing here that's single. Compound and compound. It could be a double replacement, but I doubt it because both of these are the same anion oxide. So that means this is a synthesis. Sometimes we call it a combination. So when I look up my different types of combinations and reactions, metal oxide and water forms bases. So what I'm going to do is know that K is hooked up with hydroxide. So I pull out my formula writing grid. I find potassium, I work my way over here, KOH is the product, KOH, and to balance it I'm going to need a 2 in front. Now the second one basically looks the same except it's calcium oxide. So I come back to my formula writing grid, there's calcium, come over to hydroxide, I get calcium hydroxide, CaOH sub 2. Pretty straightforward there. Now, this is a decomposition for sure, because it's only got one reactant. Carbonates like to break down into carbon dioxide, and the metal oxide that's left is SRO. This is also a carbonate breaking down, likes to give off CO2 and ZNO. This is a hydroxide decomposing, and hydroxides like to give off water and Mg. Okay. Now, for the next one, I have positive, negative, positive, negative. Or think about, you know, boy, girl, boy, girl. The calcium is going to hook up with the chloride in a double replacement, the hydrogen with the sulfite. So when I go over here to my formula writing grid, calcium hooking up with chloride is CaCl2. Now, I've got no hydrogen listed here, but sodium will work because it's a plus one like hydrogen with a sulfite instead of a sulfate, Na2SO4. Okay, I get the idea here. This is CaCl2 plus H2SO3, and I need to put a 2 in front of the HCl. Again, double replacement in number 7. K is going to hook up with bromide. Now, I had my bromide, but I got chloride, which is in the same group at the periodic table. So KCl means it's going to be a KBr. KBr. When this hooks up with this, H and OH, that gives us water. And it's already balanced. Now here, I spot a single. I'm going to rewrite water as, Li, as a HOH so that the Li can kick out the hydrogen and make LiOH and hydrogen gas H2. We balance it with a 2, a 2, and a 2. All right. Another double replacement. Lead's going to hook up with sulfide. Nitrate's going to hook up with sodium. So down here I've got lead with sulfide. That's PBS. Good. Sodium with nitrate, that's NaNO3. Always be looking at your formula writing grid. PBS plus NaNO3. To make that work, I'm going to have a 2 there for balancing. Number 10, ammonium salts like to decompose. It's got to be decomposed. There's only one reactant. So, Ammonium salts like to decompose into ammonia gas. We'll have HCl left over. Here, it looks like another double replacement, where we're going to get H2CO3 and NaCl. I'm going to need a 2 there and a 2 there. I'm going to verify the formulas, Na with Cls, NaCl. I have no hydrogen, but we use the Na+, plus when it hooks up carbonates all the way over here, Na2CO3 would be like H2CO3. Okay, MgO and HCl, another double replacement. I'm going to get MgCl2 and H2O. 
All right. To balance that, I need a 2 on the HCL. That's the first side of this. Let's go back over here. Two singles coming together. That's a combination. So let's look here. Aluminum and sulfide coming together. That's Al2S3. So Al2S3. Put a 3 here. Put a 2 there. Magnesium and oxygen coming together is MgO. Put a 2 there and a 2 there. Lead's going to hook up with the sulfate, hydrogen with the nitrate, PBSO4 plus HNO3. Going to put a 2 in front of that. 16 is a single replacement. Magnesium is going to kick out the hydrogen, MgCl2 plus H2. Put a 2 in front of that. 17, a nice combustion of an organic compound, which always gives us carbon dioxide and water. This one's a little trickier to balance. You play around with it for a few minutes, and you find out you actually have to put a 2 there, an 8 there, a 10 here. And then this ends up being 2, said, two times 8, 16, 26, a 13. 13. All right. Now, single replacement. This time, it's a non-metal. So the chloride, chlorine's going to kick out the bromide, and I'm going to get NaCl plus Br2. To balance it, I'll throw a 2 there and a 2 there. To rewrite water is HOH. Cesium from group 1 kicks out the hydrogen. CSOH plus H2. And we want to check that. You know, like sodium is also a plus 1, like CS. NaOH, yep, CSOH, that's good. Put our twos there, there, and there to balance this out. Double replacement, boom. AgCl plus this hooking up with this, NaNO3. So I don't have any Ag plus here, but I got the sodium with chloride. That's a one-to-one -one ratio, so that's cool. And then for the NaNO3, Na with NO3, one-to-one -one ratio. Another combustion, get CO2 and H2O. Let's see, we're going to need to put a 2 there, and we're going to need to put a 2 there. Hydroxides like to break down. Al2O3 plus H2O. I need to put a 2 there and a 3 there to make that balance. Think of water as HOH. Magnesium kicks out the hydrogen, forms H2, plus MgOH, sub 2. Another combustion, CO2 plus H2O. So I'm going to need to put a 2 there. I need to put a 2 there. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, so I'm going to put a 3 here. And then when the ammonium nitrate breaks down, ammonia gas and HN. Okay, so that's formula writing grid number, I'm sorry, that's reaction prediction number one. And what will help you a lot is having your formula writing grid number one handy for while you do this. Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan, signing off.